Good afternoon, YouTubers. This is Jagjet. Today we're going to fly out of Williamsburg Jamestown Airport, Kilo Juliet Gulf Gulf, and we're going to be flying the PC-24. We're going to jump inside here in a minute and do a quick start and do once around the patch. This, my friends, is the PC-24. And now let's head inside and give it a start. First thing we're going to do is we're going to light up the APU. And to do that, we're going to turn the fuel cutoffs on. We're going to get our igniters lit. Turn on our fuel pumps. And then we're going to hit the start switch on the APU. And we have a good start on the APU. Did have something a little bit uh, unusual there. Okay, now we're set. I'm going to arm the spoilers, set our pitch trim for takeoff, start our anti-collision lights. We're going to have a look outside and see what's going on. Our collision lights on, got plenty of room around us. give you an idea of just how accurate this is in terms of an airport layout. This is very faithfully done to the actual airport with about 2,000 hours from a nice gentleman who has uh, done this is Belga12345. Give him credit for this. All right. We're going to go down below again. We've got our avionics on. We're ready to do a startup on number two. We can now see the fuel flow starting number two. Put our anti shield, uh, anti skid on for RTO. See, ITT climbs. Got about 8%, which is normal for an N1. We're going to put our generator on on the number two engine. At this point, we can kill the tie bus, kill the APU connection, and we can stop the APU. Okay, we're getting a position where we can see the fuel flow on number one. Okay, we've got a light off. ITT is building. Watch for a hot start. These are Williams Rolls Royce FJ44 4As in this particular aircraft. We're going to enable the GPS in case we need it. Change to the compass rows. And we're doing our preliminary setup here. Our runway heading is 310. All right. We're working off a 3021 for the barometric pressure. Let's go ahead and confirm that. It is correct. We get between 40 and 60 feet altimeter. 
Local time is 1230. Okay, we got both engines stabilized. I'll go ahead and start the other generator. All right, we're set there. Put our flight director on, which will give us command bars. I'm going to select vertical speed and a thousand feet a minute, which will give us our pitch up. Set our heading. That'll give us our lineup. Our airspeed is set at 170, which means we'll have to pull the power back pretty significantly after takeoff. We're going to do a flaps 10 takeoff, which is now set. We have 2,068 pounds of fuel on board, which is sufficient for the flight. And turn off our fuel pumps at this point. We really don't need them on. Add in our nav lights and our landing and taxi lights are on. Radio frequency is set to 122.8, which is local for traffic. I'm going to disable the HUD. We don't need that for today. Give a look out in each direction. They're clear to the left, clear to the right. And now we're going to head out, taxi down to 31. Williamsburg traffic, 24 Papa Charlie. Taxi to the active 31 Williamsburg. Brake check. Okay, try and miss the chocks here. This aircraft only has a 2D cockpit, but that's fine because it is not very frame intensive. Make sure our jet blast doesn't bother anybody behind us. So we taxi to the active. We'll note off in the distance over the treetops is a blimp making its circuit in the vicinity of Surrey or the James River. Okay, we've got our altimeter set. We have our MCDU set, with the exception of the altitude, which we're going to use 1,500 feet for pattern work today. Challenges with this aircraft is to stay in the vicinity of the airport and not make too big a traffic pattern. And you really don't want to taxi this thing much faster than a walk, a fast walk. I'll go back inside, try to stay on the center line. Engines look good. We're about 500 feet, 500 fuel flow pounds per hour. There's that blimp. He's working just outside, or actually inside the pattern area. It's three one is left traffic, and one three is right traffic. We get down to the end, we'll take a visual check on our spoilers, make sure they're engaging, take a look outside and verify our fat flat position.
Make our final call for takeoff. And Bill and Charlie will answer us back. They would if they were here. sure and center our rudder position back down to a nice idle I'm going to stop so we have a little bit of view of the incoming traffic we're stopped now Okay, igniters are on, avionics is set, fuel pump is on, we're not going to use any nav, and we're going to change our clock, so we'll start that when we pull on the runway, put on our strobes, pitos, bleed air is on, transponder is coming on, preset 2261, which is uh, Birthday of a friend of mine, very significant person in my life. And now we're going to go outside, verify our spoiler usage. Got panels on both sides and retract. Go back inside. Our pitot heat is on. RMR spoilers and RTO is set. Williamsburg traffic, 2-4 Papa Charlie is ready for departure. Runway 31, Williamsburg. Have a look see, nothing on final. Brakes released, standing by for position. This aircraft has good performance. VU1 is about 105 at this weight. VR is 110. So I'm not going to do a static run. Get us on the center line and pour the coals to it. We'll use about 95%. Air speed's alive. Takeoff power set. 80 knots. V1 rotate. And we're off. Gears coming up. Positive rate. Flaps up. Get that little bit of a pitch change. Flyer command bars out of 600. Power to about 
Okay, and we steady up on a downwind. We'll take a look. get to that next shoreline we're going to break 90 degrees for our crosswind excuse me for our base leg pretty good pitch change when you uh, select the first notch of flaps. All right, at this point, we're just going to cancel the flight director. Got the airport in sight. Gears down, flaps are 10. Nighters are on. Coming around on runway heading. Okay, runway is clearly in sight. Gear down, flaps 20, there's the pitch. Blimps identified, off at our 10 o'clock. Okay, now we're just going to get down to that 105 knot approach speed. Gear down, flaps down, Williamsburg traffic, 
Two for Papa Charlie, short final runway three one, Williamsburg. And we're gonna aim at the brown area short of the runway. Carry our speed. Good runway lineup. Stay on the center line. We've got a speed brake deployment, idle thrust, brakes. And we'll just let it roll to the end. Speed brakes identified and retract. And that's a nine minute circuit around Williamsburg Jamestown Airport. We'll continue off the runway. And then we'll watch a replay. All clear for the turn. Flaps identified and retract. Flaps up and indicating. Williamsburg traffic. 2 4 Papa Charlie's clear the active at Williamsburg. After landing, clear up. We'll take our strobes and our pedo heat. All right. And we'll pause now and go into the replay menu. I'll take us back out to a reasonable short final and we'll watch it from the ground first and we're flying As you can see, the aircraft has a nice, stable approach. Watching out for deer and for birds, but we don't see any because we reset that option. The approach was made slightly above the glide slope. I was doing about a three and a half degree descent and coming to idle power just about 50 feet. Pitching the nose up, holding it off slightly. Touch down and roll out. Looks pretty nice. And now we'll go watch it from behind, from about the same distance. In this case, I've done a preset where I can zoom in and watch from a little bit closer. should be able to see there's another notch of flaps going in a slight balloon 
Be trimming into it and down to final flaps, gears down. Further power reduction to get the descent rate like I like it. The V rough on this aircraft is about a hundred knots at this weight loading. And we're slightly above glide slope. The scenery in this overlay is quite good. As we transition from the standard X-Plane to the Belga 12345 airport rendering, which I might say is quite spectacular. Not to idle thrust, transitioning. About 800 feet down the runway, quick kick, spoilers, brakes, slowing quite nicely. Lovely aircraft to fly. It's probably going to be about eight or nine million dollars. It has a tremendous amount of capability and range can carry about 6,000 pounds of fuel, 2,500 pounds in the cabin. So it has pretty exceptional range and handling and made to land on unimproved fields. I'll do a grass strip landing in the near future to demonstrate the quality of the uh, handling on the ground. But this was filmed at KG, excuse me, KJGG which is Williamsburg Jamestown. This is the Pleiades PC-24, which is soon to be certified if it has not been already. And thanks for stopping by, YouTubers. Hope you enjoyed PC-24 Around the Patch from Cold and Dark.